This month is Stress Awareness Month and we are going to go through how stress can impact the skin and what treatments and solutions we can offer here at Skin Group. So I can suffer with really bad skin, especially when I'm stressed out with work or mm -hmm. anything that's going on in my home life. Mm -hmm. Is it true that stress can impact your skin? Absolutely. Stress, um, when we are stressed, our body um, releases a particular hormone. Do you mean cortisol? Absolutely and it can have a very negative impact not only on your internal organs but it can have a negative impact on your skin and um, the overall health of your skin but what characteristics would we see on the skin if somebody was stressed yeah i think that's quite interesting because i know from when i have stress and it impacts my skin i often find it can get quite dehydrated quite dry mm -hmm. um, often as well it can become quite red, quite vascular in appearances, um, and I sometimes often used to struggle with what's the best way to treat them. I think it goes back to something that we've discussed before, ultimately it's about repairing that skin barrier, Absolutely. and it's repairing the consequences that stress has had on your skin. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a really um, interesting choice of words, repairing. Yeah. The skin will have to repair, it's going through a traumatic event internally, mm -hmm. and what we don't want is... Um, any more trauma. So it's really important that you repair the skin. I would say eliminate some treatments because a lot of aesthetics treatments, and granted they are needed, they actually introduce trauma into the skin. Mm -hmm. So if you are suffering stress and your skin has become unhealthy, I think products that are repairing the skin are always beneficial. But I think ultimately, You've got to find the cause, you've got to eliminate the stress, and that's easier said than done, right? Mm -hmm. But if you don't eliminate the stress, there's only so much products or treatments you can do. Then we're not saying that you can't move on to treatments, that's definitely something we can offer. Yeah. Like, for example, we offer some really light superficial chemical peels that can really help with some of that erythema, that redness in the skin, but of course it's important to repair that skin barrier first. Absolutely, when you're ready, bring the treatments back in.